Hey everybody, this video is going to be a little different than what we normally do. Instead of focusing on just the climbing, we're going to be focusing on the gear placements. I thought it'd be fun to look back and check out how I've been placing cams and maybe some nuts. And maybe I can learn something and hopefully someone else can learn something too by watching some placements. Um, there's going to be some bomber placements, there's going to be some sketchy placements, and there's going to be everything in between. But hopefully more bomber than sketchy, and if you see anything that you think is super sketchy that I How's might have thought was bomber, right. feel free to let me know. Okay. Or if you see anything that was bomber that you would whip on that I thought was sketchy, feel free to let me know. So let's check them out. All right, this first one's bomber. All right, all right, you're okay, number one. Another pretty bomber, number two. I feel like this is a little big, but I think I'm gonna try to make it work anyways because I wanted to keep twos on hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm here for it. Ah, this four. I remember looking up and thinking, I need that cam later. Pulling it right out. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that. I think I ended up replacing it with this three. Yeah. Ah, here's that four later. Sometimes when I'm pumping out or I'm scared, I'll just clip it right away, even though I know I need to extend it like on something like a long multi-pitch. And so I'll find a better stance, and I'm sure I'm not the only one. I'll find a better stance and then put that sling on it. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. I whip on it, bomber. These were kinda sketch. I didn't really like the rock around it. So I remember putting in two of them, I think. And then I think I look right around the corner and then realize that there's like a bomber one placement or two placement. So here's that number two placement I was talking about. It was literally like a foot and a half, just like above my head and around like this like mini bulge. So I'll take those down. Ah, that looks like a bomber point four. I think we switched over to granite in the Sierra. Bomber point three. Uh, I don't know about this one. It looks like the rock around it is kind of like flaring all over the place. If it walked too much, it could fall out. The two looked pretty good. This point seven five looks pretty good. The point three ends up looking pretty good. Oof, denied. That cam was too big. I think I go to a two now. This route was pretty rad. There's a little roof that you end up pulling over. So that's why the draws look like they're going to the right. Because I actually am tilting my head underneath it. All bomber number, bomber point five. Duh. I'm okay with that too. I'm okay with that too. This crack was a little flared. I don't know about that three. Oh yeah, see? I think I replaced the three with a two so I could put it in further because it is kind of flaring. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It could still walk, but I'm sure I put a long sling on it, so I'm sure it was fine. All right, I'm here for this two placement. One for a three in the same crack, it looks like. We, I'm here for it. Oh, I don't like the sound of that flake. Solid 0.75. Super sketch 0.5. I hopefully pushed it in a little further because I feel like it's almost on the edge of like not being in the crack if it falls, if it like walked too much. And I don't know if I put slings on these because the crack was so straight up and down that I don't think I ended up slinging them. It's a pretty good 0.75. Another 0.75 on a different route. Looks pretty good. 
Mm, I don't know about this one. The rock looks pretty flary around it. Like it could walk. I'm sure I put a long sling on it, so it's probably okay, but I'm sure I could have found something better if I took my time. Good point four. Oh, this nut. I don't remember this nut. I think Bridget told me it was either good or it slipped right out, so one of the two. Dang, that point seven that point five placement was like crossed arm. Solid point five there though. Oh yeah, this crack took a lot of point fives and point seven fives. I'm here for this point seven five. Another good one. In my opinion. I could be wrong. Let me know. I don't think I'm wrong, but that looks pretty solid. Ah, I remember this one. It took the only good handhold away from me, but it was worth protecting it. Good. That point five was kind of shallow, but I felt like it was so parallel that it wasn't going to move with a long runner on it. Sweet, 0.75. Oh, it looks a little over -canned. Yeah, I was right, a little over -canned. This two looks pretty bomber. Ah, made up for it, bomber 0.1. Oof, lost points again. Look how over -canned this two is. That is embarrassingly over -canned. And I think I was trying to save point one because I think this crack took so many point ones. That was a good point or a good four, good point five, maybe a little over cammed actually. Oh, this is sketch. So later I realized that an offset would have been good. And so I ended up putting a, a point two that I didn't think was great and a point three that I didn't think was great, like right on top of each other. But that was really my only cam placement available. And then later I ended up reading that they recommended an offset cam in 0.2.3, so that made a lot of sense. So the idea was there, but I don't know if that would have held or not. I feel like one cam might have fallen into the other and knocked them both out. Or they just wouldn't have engaged anyways because they were kind of flary. That was a bomber 0.2. Kind of hard to tell on this 0.1. That's pretty good. Very dirty crack though. Ha, dirty crack. Solid point four, solid four. Oh, I remember this. I didn't have any placements for a while. And I figured something was better than nothing and that was super shallow, but I think if I had fallen on it, I really think that would have held like 100%. It just looked kind of shady. Uh, I don't know about that one, I don't like that. Uh, I don't really like that one either. All right, those are good. That looks shallow, but I don't think it is. I think it's the lighting. All right, I feel like that might not have been good, but I don't know. That one's kind of hard to tell. I remember that one being bomber. Cool, cool. I'm here for these, these are pretty bomber. Well. I think that's all of them. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. I know I had fun putting together all the cam placements and taking a look at them. If you thought anything was sketchy, let me know. If you thought anything was bomber that I didn't think was bomber, again, let me know. Um, hopefully we can all learn from this a little bit or at least just enjoy hearing the clinking sounds. If you haven't already, don't forget that if you wanna spend more time outdoors, indoors, you can subscribe. And uh, here's a little footage of the Ridgeline Traverse of Bear Creek Spire, I think. Safety. Certain death. Safety. Certain death. <laughs>